interfering with the ag production of another state. And the senator joins us now for an update. Senator, thank you so much for being here. And exactly where are you right now? I know you're outside <laughs> and it looks beautiful weather, by the way. Yeah, Suzanne, welcome to Windy, Kansas. This is Matfield Green, um, beautiful Flint Hills where so many cattle are pastured. And this is where I was brought up fishing and hunting. So just proud to be out here on my way back towards uh, Winfield, Kansas, well, a long ways away yet. <laughs> well, Senator, thank you for joining us and making it work. So, of course, uh, a tough uh, conversation here. Talk about the implications. We're talking about Prop 12 and the implications yeah. that it has for producers on a national scale. Yeah, Susan, first I want to shout out to Congresswoman Ashley Henson and the from, from Iowa, as well as their two senators, Chuck Grassley and Joni Ernst. They are warriors for agriculture helping me with this. And Prop 12 impacts Iowa. I believe it's the number one uh, pork producing state in the nation. At least that's what Senator Grassley and Ernst tell me every other day. Uh, so prop, what Prop 12 does is it says that uh, people that raise pigs in Iowa or Kansas, wherever, uh, that they're going to tell us how to do that, that they, they want to have 24 feet square feet of space for sows to raise piglets. And your listeners get what I'm talking about. Look, these are radical um, a activists, animal rights activists that are leading this charge against us. We do not want California telling Kansas or Iowa farmers on how to raise pigs. Next, it's going to be uh, cattle. Then they're going to tell us we can't grow GMO corn. So we are drawing a line in the sand and say, no, thank you, California. This is Kansas. We're going to do it the way Kansans have done this for centuries. So the legislation that you have come up with that you're part of, of course, is the EATS Act. Uh, talk yeah. about this legislation. What does the what's what does it aim to do? What is the goal here? Right. And, and again, I want to just back up a second. And the Supreme Court said in a recent ruling, Congress, we want you to do your job. We want you to spell this out clearly. And what this does is preserve uh, interstate commerce as we know it. It stops other states like California from telling us what we can do and not do. And again, it's it's far, it's uh, pigs today, but next it's going to be how we drill oil and gas that uh, you, you can only make electric cars and electric tractors. So we're drawing a line in the, in the sand and stopping this aggression from California. Senator, next steps for this legislation? Well, that's a good, a good question. We're getting the heck beat out of us here. The next step is I need your listeners to speak up. You know, give Ashley Henson a, a call at her office and Chuck and Joni and say, we support you. Uh, the, the animal rights activists are accusing us everything from being a uh, communist uh, to, I don't know what all they're accusing us of here, but uh, this is to protect Kansas farmers and ranchers, Iowa farmers and ranchers. The next step is we need people in agriculture to share how, how much we respect animals and how we raise livestock, uh, that we are the greatest stewards in the land. We need to share that across the countryside. And then we'll try to find a piece on the farm bill maybe we can attach it to, but I got an uphill battle. I need uh, agriculture people to step up and say, we need the EATS Act. Well, Senator, before I let you go, I know that House lawmakers have voted to nullify protections for the lesser prairie chicken. Speak to what this means for the ag sector. Well, I finally did something that Pat Roberts couldn't get done. We have passed now through the state and Senate a repeal on uh, the Endangered Species Act impacting prairie chickens. And I think that, again, all your farmers and ranchers know when there's a species that they list in this Endangered Species Act, it impedes farming and ranching. It's just an extra burden. So we've repealed that ruling that the, uh, that the EPA has put on us. We're going to, uh, the Fish and Wildlife Department, push back on them. And then, but, but of course, Joe Biden has promised to veto it. I'm afraid I'm leading the league in veto threats from this president. Oh, Senator, thank you so much <laughs> for making the time. Senator Roger Marshall of Kansas, there from his hometown area. Thank you for joining us. Act Technology Company Bushell is transforming their farm management software with the automated entry 